Okay, so in this case, we're now gonna convert from the number of particles, we're gonna make it into a mole conversion. And there are two steps that we're gonna do only for this type of conversion problem. We are going to identify the given and write it down. And after that, we are going to divide the given with our Avogadro's number value. And then the final unit of the answer will always be a mole. So let's go ahead and discuss some of the sample problems to illustrate these steps. Okay, so let's start with problem number one. Problem number one, if we're going to read this, it's asking us how many moles are there in the whole thing here, 3.09 times 10 to the exponent of positive 24 formula units of Mg3PO42. So this is your substance, okay? Now, the first step, as always, is to write our given. So our given is 3.09 times 10 to the power of 24. And we need to put the unit formula units. Now you can shortcut formula units with the abbreviation F dot U. So formula units. So that's our formula units given. After that, by default, you, can al you always put a multiply there. And then we're going to have a parenthesis to enclose our conversion factor. And in the parenthesis, we have a divider for the numerator and denominator. And because in the step it says divide, so that means we are going to put the Avogadro's number in the denominator. So we're going to put it down here. So that's going to be 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And because we use formula units here, this will also have formula units unit. And then now the one on top will be the one mole. Mole can be written with an E or no E. That's okay. Next, we close the parentheses. So this is how the dividing works. If we're going to shortcut the whole thing, because the unit, the unit FU will cancel out here, and so we're left with mole, this time we can shorten this out as 3.09 times 10 to the 24 times 1 is the same thing, so we can shorten this out as 3.09 times 10 to the 24 mole already, because that's times 1 mole, then over, so over whatever is below. So the one below is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 already, and there's no more unit because we canceled it out. So the whole thing here on top is just shortened this way like this so that we can readily input this in the calculator. So now we are ready to put this in our calculator. So I need us to prepare our calculator this time so you can experience it and you're going to do it on your own. So I'm going to put my calculator here on the side. Okay. Now, I'm going to use something, a function in the calculator that you might see in your own calculator. Let me show you that. You look at this function where my pen is pointing. There's N over D. In your scientific calculator app, there might be a similar feature that allows you to put a fraction readily, automatically. So check that out. I will press that here. And if I press that, you're going to see the numerator to be blinking. So we're going to type in the numerator. The numerator is 3.09. So 3.09. The times 10 is still the times 10 n here for your exponent. So you press that. And then the exponent will blink. So the exponent for that is 24. So you're going to put 24. Now we are done with our numerator. Now let's go down. So you press arrow down to help us input now the denominator. So we're going to input the denominator. That is 6.02. And then the exponent is times 10n again. So press that. And then the exponent is 23. So 23. 
Now, check whether you have inputted the correct numbers of our given, making sure that the exponents are accurately inputted in the calculator. And now we can press enter. Once they're all correct, press enter, and you're going to see these answers here on your calculator. Please try it on your own and make sure you get what I get here on my own calculator. Now, when we express the final answer, we have agreed to pick only the first three significant digits. So we're going to pick five point, and then after that will be one and three. So those are three significant digits all in all. So now we're going to write that answer down. So that's going to be 5.13. No need to round up the 3 because after the 3, it's a 2. So that's that will just be a 3. So 5.13. And after that, we will put the unit. So the unit is mole based from here. So that's mole. And then you put of. Your substance is here. So your substance is Mg3PO42. So just copy the way it looks like in your problem. And then we're going to box the final answer to emphasize that that's our answer for number So now for number two, we are to determine the number of moles in 1.55 times 10 to the 22 molecules of Na2SO4. So the whole thing here is our given which you see a number and a unit. So all we need to do is write that down. So that's 1.55 times 10 to the 22. And now let's do the shorter way because the molecules will be converted to a mole. That will become a mole. And then divide it right away by your Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23. That's it. And you're going to put equal sign there. And now on your calculator, we are going to show that, that we are dividing. I don't know what type of calculator you're using, but please figure it out as early as now how to divide this scientific notation format that we have. So let's go ahead, press our N over D, the one in fraction. And then we're going to input the numerator, so that's 1.55. And then the times 10 will be this button here, times 10 to the n. And then the exponent is 22. And then we're going to press arrow down. That's going to be 6.02. And then times 10 to the power of n again. And the exponent is 23. And then once we've checked that we have inputted everything correctly with the correct exponents, most especially, check that. Now, if it's accurate, we are ready to press enter or equals on the calculator. And you're going to see all these numbers here. Now, most of you have placed something that's not this value. If you see zeros, do not ignore them. That's part of the answer. So retain them. Copy them where they are. And after you copy where they are, you count the first three significant digits after the zero. So the two zeros are not counted as your significant digits here, but the counting of the significant digits will start with two, then five, and then seven. So two, five, and seven are your three non-zero significant digits. So therefore, your answer should end up to the 7. And copy exactly how the zeros appear on the calculator. Do not change the value. Okay? So let's copy that. So that's going to be 0 0.0257. So 1, 2, 3, 257. We did not round up 7 because it's a 4 after that. So it will just be 7. Now, we are going to write the unit that is mole of, the substance is Na2SO4. And this is now 
our complete answer for number two. You may try to solve number three on your own as a more practice for you.